Hey, it's Fourth Playboy. And my Playboy is funny. And welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. Today's topic is users versus gold diggers. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like the bad versus the bad. I think a lot of men confuse the two. They do. They do. And, and it would be easy. Yeah. You know, because when I use the word users, a lot of guys don't realize... When you're talking about, there's a higher chance of you running into users. Yeah. Oh, for than sure. Than gold diggers. And a user is a girl who has been pumped and dumped and been, had so many bad experiences as a woman. Yeah. That the femininity, fun, has been fucked right out of her. <laughs> That's and, true. Yeah. It just sounds funny. And it's horrible, but in her job, they kind of become angry hardened hardened yeah and you can't always tell in the beginning but her job is to max extract as much out of you be it time resources attention your sanity <laughs> that she can yeah. until she moves on to the next guy yeah and they know she knows that this will be a temporary thing yeah and that's a user you know and so again it's hard to recognize a lot of these girls until you have a lot of experience. And so our job is to kind of like convey our experience yeah. with with women to you so you don't have to take the hit or at least not take the hit as severely, you know. Yeah. And we've we've done a podcast recently on user girls. Specifically. So we went into great detail about this kind of girl. So check that out also. It's not many episodes away from this one. And I'm going to, so the deal with gold diggers, which yeah. most guys think they're running into. Exactly. Or are on the lookout for. And here's the deal with gold diggers. There are far fewer and they're in smaller enclaves and they're very specific yeah. to who they date and where they're at than you think they are. If if you are a regular guy and you work, you you know, you're a software engineer in Milwaukee, you're not coming across gold diggers. You right. might come across girls that like the nicer things in life. Yeah. But true gold diggers generally tend to be either Asian or Russian or Eastern European. Right. And you'll find them in like Dallas, Miami, New York City, LA, LA yeah. Chicago. And they'll be within... They'll usually, if they when they arrive here, they'll stay with girlfriends or family that are already meeting wealthier, older men. Yes. And they don't show up. They don't, what would you say? You're not going to find them at Applebee's. No, they, not at all. They go to the parties. They go to the, the restaurants, the high-end restaurants where people who eat out every day yeah. go. And they immerse themselves in those environments. And they're not, I will say, they're also not part of the staff. They're not in the no. service industry. No. Their job is a gold digger. Is yeah. To be, is to truly, so they're not going to confuse, they're not going to ever be viewed as the girl who was the bartender that night at this big event. No, she was a guest at the event. Exactly. Exactly. And these girls don't mess with guys that have no means. No. You know what I mean? They're, it's not. You're not on their radar, you know. So if you're a valet parker, you're not. You're going to see them, but you're not going to interact with them in any type of pickup. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The true gold diggers, which are out there, are very specific, and you're not going to meet them probably. You're invisible to them. Yeah, unless exactly. you are a billionaire listening yeah. to our podcast, which. Hey, we appreciate. Yeah. We appreciate. Yeah. More billionaires should listen yeah. to our podcast because they probably they probably know more how to handle their shit. And but. even for even for the millionaires, because generally when we do do consults, we work with very wealthy men that yeah. are very accomplished. We work with very accomplished men. But your spending habits don't reflect. You have a very middle or upper middle class spending habit. Right. Therefore. They're not looking for that. They're looking for the private jet. They're looking for the multiple homes. They're, right. You know. Right. That, that's what they're looking for is generational wealth. Um, and men that are are more than happy to spend it. You know? And I will say the men who gold diggers attract know 
what's up. They know what they're getting into. Yeah. And generally, they're you, they're usually introduced to. Yeah. You know, and that's how it works. You know, you meet like one of your buddy's wives, who's Russian, and she knows you're single. She sets you up with one of her girlfriends. Right. You know. Right. And that's how it usually happens. Yeah. Um, but you're, and more common is, girls that are users. Right. They are they are going to drain you of energy, and resources, and fun, and <laughs> it kind of like leaves you. I mean, if you get out sooner, great. But most of the time, the guys don't know what they're dealing with, and she kind of sucks them dry. Yeah. And so for a year or two afterwards, she's like moved on. Yeah. And and these are the girls that will like do scorched earth in one city and then move. Exactly. You know, so you know, we always talk about girls will absolutely destroy their reputation and have to pick up and move to start over. <laughs> You'll see a, that's a lot of these girls because you can't do this even in a larger city. No. Cuz people do interact. Exactly. You know, it's not that big of a community um so just be aware and if you are concerned about the user factor check out the podcast that is specifically about women who are users yeah you know because it's a very specific thing and and unfortunately you won't know until you spent some time with her now i will say most guys think that all girls are gold diggers or okay let me back up most guys think that all users are gold diggers and most guys think that all girls are users. So I can see that. I mean, so understand that there is a spectrum. Yeah. Being a user and being a female who who follows your lead and is feminine and would rather be a stay-at-home mom than a corporate girl who earns as much money as you. These are not necessarily the same thing. No. So understand that there are levels to all of these these items yeah there's a certain support aspect to being a man yeah but there's usually a a give and take yeah yeah and that's interesting yeah so just know and just know if you know you you're looking for in good faith right you know is right. she is what she is doing or asking for or is your exchange in good faith or in bad faith now i do want to talk about Fort Worth's VIP, his evergreen bundle. But I want to tell you that it also includes an entire Discord community, which is really tight. So not only is it one price for all of the books that he has ever published and all the books that Fort Worth will ever publish with no additional cost, but... It also includes a private Discord community of hundreds of other men like yourself that are high achieving, that are interested in, in always keeping their game sharp and really leveling up their entire lives. Because when you do self-improvement in any area of your life, all of the other areas benefit as well. Um, it's essentially like a very cool, large mastermind group of like-minded men who are absolutely killing it. And this is all under Fort Worth Playboy's Evergreen VIP membership package that is already an incredibly good value considering all the books that you get. Um, and then the fact that he's now added the Discord service is just a massive added value so if you haven't already jumped on that list i really 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 recommend that you do it's one price one time you never pay for anything else again unless you feel like it somewhere along the line i don't even know what that would be for because you can ignore every other sales page that he puts up you know on on twitter or wherever because you're already going to get it automatically yeah, you you will actually receive it before we send it out to the people who have purchased it yeah yeah so, check that out if you haven't already, because in all things, we want you to win. Bye!